The difference between marginal and great is discipline. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, our good friend, Freddie Fry, tells an inspiring story that helps remind us of the importance of developing self-discipline in our lives. Enjoy. So it's funny how you come across stories in life that remind you of the effort and the desire and the passion and the will that it takes to achieve next level greatness or to overcome adversity or certain situations in your life. I recently had an opportunity to shadow the number one motivational speaker in the world, Dr. Eric Thomas, when he spoke at the Thrive Conference in Las Vegas. I picked up so many nuggets. It was an opportunity for me to invest in my personal development and growth. And I advise each and every one of you to invest in your personal development. Invest in yourself. That don't mean you necessarily have to go out on a conference or anything like that. I advise you to. It's a great, the experiences are great, but you can do it by reading self-help books. You can watch videos. You can listen to music. There are so many ways that you can invest in your daily personal development and growth, and we all need to do that. But that's not the moral of this story. It's about discipline. It's about you dealing with the adversity and things that you face head on and finding a way to be strong enough to overcome them. So when I was in Vegas, I was Ubering everywhere. And when I got in the car, I would always ask the Uber driver, so how's it been today? You've been doing a lot of drives, a lot of rides with people? And they would answer the question. So when I got back home, I called an Uber. Young lady picked me up, got in the car, asked her the same question. So how's it been going today? You've been doing a lot of drives today, a lot of people riding with you? And she was like, (laughs) she was like, let me tell you. I've been working seven days straight with my regular job and on days off I'm Ubering for the last year. She said, I even worked on Christmas, if you can believe that. And I was like, whoa, that sounds like a story. And I asked her, so are you doing all this to build a little nest egg for something? Or is it out of necessity? And she was like, it was out of necessity. Because my mother just was diagnosed with cancer. And I've been trying to help her pay the medical bills because we don't have insurance. And I was like, wow. And then she hit me with this. She said, you know, I used to weigh 500 pounds. I was like, whoa, because when I saw her, she had me put the stuff in the trunk. She looked like she was definitely under 200. And I'm thinking to myself, I wonder did she just have the gastric bypass surgery? And she went on to say, I didn't do the gastric because I see how it affects people after they have it. And sometimes they're worse off after they have it than before. And I was like, well, how did you do it? She was like, well, I went to school, so I knew all about nutrition and diet and I knew the stuff. But I was an emotional eater. I had an emotional eating disorder. She said I would eat a whole cake at a time. And she asked me if I knew anything about how the stomach worked. And I said, well, I really didn't. So she gave me a quick synopsis. She said, you basically have an inner lining and an outer lining. And she said, normally your inner lining is about the size of a peach. She said she ate so much. She had stretched her inner lining so much that it was about the size of a football. And she said, normally you eat and the outer lining, once you got what, what, the inner lining would start hitting the outer lining to let you know when you were full and she said hers got so big she never knew when she was full she would eat a whole cake and 30 minutes later she'd be starving again and so she knew what the problem was she went to a doctor she got real sick and they told her hey you got to make some changes you got to make them immediately and they wanted to have a surgery she's like i'm not having the surgery but they said how there's no way you're going to be able to fix your stomach but she knew better and so at that very moment in time she got determined see some of you out there are going through a problem right now But the pain is not enough to make you get determined. The hurt is not enough to make you get determined. You have to have the discipline, the will to start the process of making the necessary changes and adjustments. And she did. And here's what she did. So she hired her friend. She knew what she needed to do. She hired a friend for three weeks. And her job, her goal wasn't to lose weight in those three weeks. It was just to get her inner lining or whatever lining of her stomach back small, back to the normal size so she would know when she was full. And so whenever that person would see her, it's followed everywhere, 24-7. 
because she knew herself. She knew she was going to break down and want to eat something that she shouldn't be eating. And she was like, let me tell you, it was days where I was basically fighting my friend. We were on the floor tussling because I was trying to get to that food that I wanted. And she held me accountable. And you need an accountability partner. Somebody that's going to hold, hold you accountable for the things that you say that you're going to do. And that's exactly what her friend. And she went to the extreme of paying her to make sure she tackled her not to eat the food. And after three weeks, her inner lining got back to normal size. So she knew when she was full. And then she just actually started executing on the things that she knew as it relates to nutrition. And she started to burn more calories than she took in. And she started to see the weight drop off. And she stayed committed and she stayed disciplined over and over. Took it one day at a time. And soon she started seeing herself go down from 500 to 400, 400 to 300. And she told me she was like, Fry, she's like, I didn't stop necessarily. I didn't cut all the sweets and everything out. I just stopped eating the whole cake. I just started eating in moderation. I started eating smaller portions of stuff and working out a little bit more. And I didn't do anything crazy. She was just totally committed and totally disciplined. I need you to learn how to be totally committed and totally disciplined in that situation that you're facing in your life. It can be done. But the majority of people in the world don't succeed and go to the next level because they don't have the self-discipline to get it done. The great Mark Bryan says, the difference between marginal and great is discipline. I need you to start exercising your self-discipline muscle on a daily basis because when you start exercising that discipline muscle, you will find that you will find a way to overcome so many obstacles that you're facing each and every day in your life and thus you put yourself in a position to win each and every day of your life. And you know that's our goal, to be self-disciplined so we can climb the hump and make each and every day of our lives a Wednesday. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.